usually any, when they say that, it's like, all right, I'm gonna stand behind and watch how they play. But no, it's, you do one of two things. It's like two veteran things. Yeah, you either you stand and you watch it just so you can get information or try to get as much information as you can, which really wouldn't have mattered too much to N64 because he plays um, not the norm of a character. Like he can pick up on possible general habits of Ziff, yeah. but the difference between watching a Peach versus a Marth, like Ziff versus a Marth, and what Ziff would probably do for a Pikachu is yeah. too different. Or the other thing, which is what I'm thinking he's doing, is he walked off and played, yeah, to keep his hand just warm. Just keep, to, them, keep him warm. Yeah, just so he can stay mobile around something like this, because he's going to need a lot of mobility, and I'm surprised that that actually took the jump. Tail whip. Yeah, no, I'm surprised it took the jump. <laughs> like, yeah, rule number one is you're never above the Pikachu, so that kind of thing doesn't happen. But yeah. the only reason why Ziff lost his stock is because it sniped his jump. Right? Because then, you, yeah, because then you, I, you can kind of see when they're when they don't have a jump and they're falling. You see like the kind of click, click, click in their head before they go. I don't have a jump, do I? Well, he he might have knew it beforehand, but it's just he wasn't getting back to that range. With all that we were talking about snipes and everything, Ziff found a snipe of his own. Took it back, so you know, three, quick, three. yeah, quick early stock doesn't mean anything. Two stock down before the minute mark. They're just really feeling each other. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I say they played each other enough to where they can have a decent assessment of what they're gonna do to each other. They're probably not really familiar. They don't play each other weekly, I would imagine. Yeah. But they're still close enough to where they. I would be surprised if they haven't seen each other before. And also, like, they've both been around for pretty long time in Smash. Mm -hmm. So a new character comes along that they haven't played as much. They've still played at least some. I wouldn't go as far as to say a new character because, I mean, yes, I think in my mind how often has Ziff played a Pikachu. I mean, I know he's played Pikachu over the years, so he might, he might not be as fresh as a Pikachu matchup, but N64 is playing the oddball character, and it's not like Peach is rare, especially in the state. So he's, yeah. not, he's not unfamiliar with this matchup at all. Although the funny thing about this matchup is um, contrary to what the average person would say or what they used to say, this matchup isn't like an easy matchup for Pikachu because, oh, he has an amazing us match. No, it's just actually a really oppressive matchup for Pikachu because he still has to deal with Peach's range. And one of the big problems is if he ever gets caught by Peach, he yeah. down smash. Because yeah. his shield isn't amazing. Because it's like, oh, yeah, his up smash. Oh, yeah, this. It's like he has to get up to her. And that down smash has like hitbox all over it's not so much that it has uh, that it hits all over. It's that it wears down on the shield so much. And Pikachu's shield okay. isn't good. It's not good at all. So he either has to light shield to protect himself to keep from getting shield stabbed and get pushed out, or he has to hope that he's far enough away that he doesn't get shield stabbed by it. Yeah. Caught him trying to jump. Ooh, Ooh. nice. Yep. Any air down smash is holding down the set. Good back air. He's still going to need a little bit more. That tail spike isn't enough. Needs one more. And he was looking for, ooh! Oh, F-Smash, I don't know, how far, F-Smash doesn't really go down the ledge as much. Not entirely. It? No, Ziff was poking above the ledge. He misspaced his, uh, his parasol. Okay. But, I mean, he is at the magic percent. I'm not a firm believer of that. That's why it's gone. Really? Uh, no. I think 69% is, I think it's Smash 4. It has something to do with Rage. You see what game this is right here? This is Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. <laughs> this poor Peach finding her way off the platform. Can't really get in on the Pikachu. Really got to find the heart of the cards here. Probably, possibly. I wouldn't go that far because even though Ziff is down like 9%. Or, oh, ooh. That's unfortunate. It's a tech error. It's a tech error because he had the ledge, but it's one of the problems with doing it. You have to hold down to go down. But you have to let go before you get to the ledge, or you'll uh, you'll fast fall. Yeah, it's not fast fall. Or it's like you, you, you like won't grab the yeah, you won't let yeah, you won't grab the ledge. Yeah, tongue twister. Yeah. Needless to say, we could have had a little bit more, but we'll have to see what happens in game two. It's this is melee. That's uh -huh. what it, it happens in the game. This is, well, that's part of the game. So it results in a match. It results in a game. It results in a stock. The good thing about it though is it's not like that happened at the end of N64 getting blown out. He was keeping it competitive. Yeah, no. I don't want to go as far as to say it was even because he looked like he was struggling to find his way and kind of like he is now. He can't get in cleanly. Zip's doing a really good job pushing him out time and time again, but. And like something I'm noticing about Ziff, he's just like, he's kind of covering the aggression off of like what he, do okay, well, getting thundered off stage. That's he, different, but when he's like, 
doing all these assaults and doing these fares and nares and stuff, when he lands, you know, doesn't connect anything, he lands immediately into down smash. Yeah, he's, he's zoning and he's making sure that um, he's put the N64 in a position where he can't run in and be right under him. And if he still wants to run in, he has to make the choice of, um, is he going to, like, try to stay on the ground and hope that Ziff's looking for, like, maybe some kind of a jab to any air or stop a jump? Or is he going to down smash so that N64 can't run in? Yeah. It's poking. Smash pussies, like, if you will. It's literally what it is. And just, like, well, because he has the other option of, okay, I'll, I'll wait, not down smash and try and see what happens. You can't do that that fast. You really can't. That's why a lot of his stuff is preemptive. Oh, no. No, he's fine. He can make... He did right. this to Jet. No, I was going to say, he could make some space. But he couldn't make any more space from it. Damage hasn't really been done just because... I mean, he got a lot of the percent, but he didn't get a KO straight yeah, from it. So, it's like, not too, too big. It's the tra I think the transition happened a little too soon. He was going to look for up smash, but... Possibly. Couldn't quite get that. Good choice. Whoa. Get out there and let just in time. Because, I mean, it's not like he could try to drop down and fake anything out. And even if he did, N64 would have been in a bad position, but it would have been like he's losing the stock directly from it. Good yeah. punish, by the way, with the Nair. Ooh. That was the fastest Nair. I know. He's just like, he's throwing them out so fast. And then, well, <laughs> I felt that one. But his Nairs are really, really fast because you almost don't see him do it. He just goes straight into the Nair and he's back to dash. He's been working on it for years, like probably 10 or more. It's it's pretty insane to deal with. Bear, bear, down smash, bear, down smash. I mean, it's a ledge strategy. I don't know if, I don't know if I'd say it's a good one, but it's certain. I think it really kind of scared N64 from trying to come back on the ledge. I'm trying to figure out what happened right there. I. I think it was another scenario where he didn't have a jump, but he didn't realize at that time because that was just awkward to not have an up B or anything. He was looking for him to tech in, couldn't find him. Good choice by N64 to roll out so he can start all of this. I just don't want to see anything nasty happen with the tree. I don't think they particularly have anything, but I've, I've just seen some jank stuff. I mean, it, the only way that it was going to happen in that scenario is if Ziff, for whatever reason, decided to come down along the wall of the tree. But he wasn't going to do that because N64 had Thunder Jolt to actually cover the tree. Yeah. Good punish. I mean, it doesn't look like Ooh. the beefiest punish, but anything's better than nothing. And I'm surprised he slid behind him. Uh, mm, he's trying to force the issue too much. And he realizes he now really dot eyes. get on them. But, like, even after, like, an up B, like, what are you going to do? If he's there floating, like, you, you can't attack mm. out of an up B. Uh, he he actually made the right call, but it was a little too early. What did he try and do before he got nared? He up smash. He was trying. To, he was looking for a jump, and he was gonna up smash him for jumping. He got what he wanted, but he was just a little too early. Yeah. yeah was, oh, you were late? No, you were early because you want you wanted him to move. So he, like, so he couldn't nair you, right? No, I wanted to up smash before he nared. Oh, you wanted it before he nared. All right. Well, we, I was close. Yeah, it's. Like, I was close. I knew you missed the timing. I thought you wanted him to jump in there and uh, caught him while he was going up. 